Joining me now, Will Marshall, CEO of Planet. Will, thanks so much for joining me at the desk. Great to be here, thanks. So let's talk a bit about Planet to kick things off, ticker symbol PL. It's the largest Earth imaging fleet. You basically take pictures of Earth from space, and then those pictures help you do what? Well, first of all, most importantly, we take pictures of the entire Earth landmass once a day. That's the unique thing that Planet does. We have a line scanner that scans the entire Earth landmass. Uh, it's orders of magnitude more than any other player. With all that extra imagery, what do we do? We help real world problems around the world, from farmers to Im improving agriculture yields, to security monitoring uh, for the Navy in the South China Sea, and everything in between. Yeah, I saw it. Natural disaster surveillance. Yep. You mentioned environmental monitoring, That's maritime cool. surveillance. So, and then I understand you have new satellites called OWLs, powered by NVIDIA chips, that promise high-res images that are then AI analyzed within an hour. So tell me, or give me an example of a real-world decision that can be made faster because of that. Absolutely. These OWL fleets, we call them OWLs because they've got big eyes and they're wise because they have all this compute on them. More, more compute on the edge, so they bigger eyes so they can see more detailed things on the ground, one meter resolution rather than three meter resolution, so 10 times higher resolution on the ground. And then in addition, we get the imagery back and analyzed within an hour. That's using this NVIDIA chip. What's that useful for, you ask? Well, one use case would be disaster response. So you imagine after a flyer, a fire like the one in LA, mm -hmm. well, quickly the responders want to know what is damaged, which building do they need to go to help uh, evacuate people from, bring relief in some other way. And then the insurance companies want to be able to analyze what uh, uh, risk do they have in their properties uh, and, and do assessments of that to help, help claims and adjustments. But time matters and resolution matters to do that detailed assessment. So that's the kind of use case this can power. When it comes to defense and intelligence operations, uh, you know, we've certainly seen a rise in geopolitical tensions and, and defense spending. So how do you balance between domestic business and international? Well, we, we're obviously a naturally a global uh, capability. We image the whole world. So we provide to users all around the world. Just here today um, at our Investor Day, I was talking to one of our customers, um, the former Minister of Defense, Alexei Reznikov, from Ukraine, because we've been helping them since the beginning of the war to help them assess uh, threats outside their borders and help them monitor to try and get ahead of that. Uh, so it's critical for finding new threats around the world. Um, we do a lot of stuff in sustainability, tracking deforestation across the entire Brazilian Amazon every day, it's tracking for new roads, or as I said, the uh, Navy is tracking um, ships in the South China Sea. We're useful across sustainability, security, and our mission is broadly to help bring that transparency and information that helps bring accountability, whether that's in sustainability or security, around the whole planet every day. How much of your business is commercial versus government contract? It's about a third commercial and a third, uh, just under, about 20% uh, uh, um, uh, commercial, about 30% civil government and about 40% and 50% now defense and intelligence. And how do you set yourself apart from some of your competitors? Well, we don't really have any competitors doing the daily scan, which is the most uh, essential thing. What's useful about that is that it opens up all these use cases like agriculture. All the other players are tasked systems. So they take a picture. If you say, hey, I want a picture here, they'll take a picture here. But we've already collected the whole earth. So we have a about two orders of magnitude more coverage, we cover the whole Earth every day, whereas they only cover a percent or two. That opens up these new applications, agriculture, forestry, disaster response, maritime domain awareness, and so on. Um, and I think the perhaps biggest implication that that has is actually in AI also. Because we image the whole Earth every day, we, and we've done that for eight years now, so we have 3,000 layers for every point on the Earth's landmass on average. So that's an immense data set to train AI models about the real world. Because all the AI models are moving towards trying to understand the real world. Not so that you can, instead of just being able to ask questions about the text of the internet that you can do on ChatGPT, imagine you can ask questions about the physical world 
for that insurance, that disaster response, that uh, holiday trip, that what have you. I mean, it, it, the power of being mm. able to ask the whole earth questions rather than just the text on the internet is tantalizing, and that's because of our daily scan. It's pretty cool stuff, but to your point, you've been doing this for, for years at this point, yet if you take a look at the stock performance this year alone, it's up something like 240% year to date. So what's behind that growth and why do you think there's so much investor interest this now. year? Yeah, well I think a couple of things. Firstly, our business is just humming right now. We've got two main aspects of our business that we're focused on. One is what we call AI-enabled solutions where we're monitoring large areas. And the second we opened up last year, which is to start selling satellites dedicated to countries where they need it. And both are taking off. We did two big satellite deals, with one with Japan, one with Germany, a couple of hundred million dollars each. And then we've done six, and then just today we announced one more, so seven um, of these deals where we're monitoring large areas with AI uh, on top. So that business is humming. And then I think there's another, just a backdrop, that people are understanding now that space is more than just a cool thing like rockets and satellites. This can really help the Earth economy. It can help us to sustainability and big challenges around the world, security. And finally, it's super relevant to AI. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, every industry is relevant to AI. AI is playing in everything. But literally, AI is only as good as the data set is trained on. So if you train it on the text of the internet, you get answers about the text of the internet. But if you could train it on the whole world's data, then you get answers about the real world. It's a tantalizing prospect. So space and AI are particularly relevant for one another, and I see quite a convergence there. As it comes, as it relates to the investment thesis, though, to your point, it, it's very much tied into the space trade as well. But some look at that as highly speculative and risky. Yeah. So I guess two-part question, can the growth continue? And what do you say to those investors who say, uh, too risky for me? Well, not only will the growth continue, uh, I see it accelerating. And look, you only need to look at our financials from the last quarter. We reported $45 million of uh, free cash flow positive in last quarter. So we're already a cash positive uh, business. But not quite profitable yet. Well, Soon? no, no, we're even a profitable and cash profitable. And we said we'll be cash flow positive for the full year, a year ahead of plan because of the business transaction. We were growing at 20% year over year, and we see that accelerating because our backlog, we reported last quarter, grew 245% uh, over the last 12 months to $736 million. Well, that gives us tremendous foresight into the future that we can depend upon. That's why we're already very confident that we see growth accelerating even beyond where we are today. So we're a profitable business. Also, we have plenty of cash. Um, on hand, and we're growing fast, so I think it's a great investor thesis. Okay, so just to wrap Obviously, the... I'm biased, but, you know. <laughs> as CEO of the company, um, uh, just to kind of wrap things up, looking five to ten years out, what role do you see Planet playing when it comes to, uh, you know, sustainability, when it comes to global security, and just overall decision making? Well, look, um, I, I, I see every country needing to have better eyes about what's going on for security around its la landscape. We're seeing the ge changing geopolitics really demand that. And I see the merger with the AI as these AI set, moves from the machine learning that they were doing to, to the large language models and foundation models like ChatGPT and the equivalents today, which talk about the text of the internet towards what I call planetary intelligence or Earth intelligence, where anyone can ask questions about that. And what will that do? That will open up this capability from not just the geeks who know about satellite imagery, but to everyone else who could ask basic questions in plain language and get answers back. I mean, it's tantalizing. That will open up by orders of magnitude the number of people that could benefit from and get answers to our data. All right, we'll leave it there. Will, thanks so much for joining us. Been a pleasure. That's Will Marshall, CEO of Planet.